Hi, welcome to Friday morning virtual vinyasa flow. Today we'll need a block. We'll explore dynamic and holding postures to get a sense of our groundedness, our sense of center and boundaries, meaningful boundaries in which to expand. And maybe a couple other fun concepts in there. So let's start off on our backs. Lying flat on your back with your knees bent, feet as wide as the mat and knees resting in towards each other. Good minute or two to check in with where you are right here, right now, placing your hands on the lowest part of your belly. Allow the earth to rise up and meet you where you are. The first step in the process of letting go of anything that is not serving you positively is to accept support. So accept the support of the ground and the internal support of your breath. First noticing where and how the breath is moving through you without any judgments or expectations. Noticing any sensations that are arising. Allow this to be a safe space to explore it all. And then empty out all the air. And then inhale, filling on up to the lowest part of your belly. And as you exhale, the hands sink down, belly sinks down towards the ground. Three more times like that. Inhale, breathing into all sides of your pelvic bowl. Exhale, belly softens in and down. One more. And exhale. Now begin to breathe into the sides of your ribs. You can take your hands now, opposite hand, opposite side of your ribs, or same hand, same side. And as you inhale, fill up sides and back of the ribs. And as you exhale, ribs soften inward. Two more times. And one more. And then release your arms at your sides, breathing fully into the perimeters, the physical perimeters of your being. You are supported from the inside out. Maintaining that sense of support, reach your fingertips to the sky, squeeze your elbows straight, shoulder blades to the ground, palms together, a little rocking side to side, freeing up the spaces and places that might be a little sticky and stuck. All right, you're keeping the arms super straight, the subtle movement and center, reaching right fingertips past the left, right shoulder blade lifts and lower down. Three more times, each side. Right, using breath and movement to get unstuck, to move through any stagnation, physical, mental, emotional, interlace your hands behind your head, elbows wide, inhale, and as you exhale, elbows close together, keep your head heavy, and lift your head from the ground with your hands, releasing the back of the neck. Lower down on the inhale, fill up, get bright through the chest, exhale, elbows close together, lifting your head with your hands. Five more times like that rhythm of your own breath. So we are inviting in a sense of sweetness and surrender to carry into the strength and stabilization, the movement. So that we're moving from a place of integration and resilience rather than Gripping and rigidity or armoring. And one more time. 
And slowly releasing down, elbows stay wide, feet, inner hip width distance apart, knees to the sky. Lift your hips halfway and then add in again, elbows close together and curl up. Lower head down, elbows wide and hips down. Four more times, own breath. So lift the hips halfway first, elbows close, curl up. And lower the head, elbows and hips. Three more times, hips, elbows, head, head down, elbows down, hips down. Couple more times, own breath. And after a last round, we'll meet to the center, releasing your head and release your arms to the sides. Flowing bridges, lift the hips, reach the arms overhead and exhale. Five more times, hips and arms lift, arms lower and hips lower. Okay, this is a nice way to calm the nervous system and also move through, again, any areas of stagnation or stuckness. And let's meet, hugging the knees in towards the chest and rock side to side. Bring it to center, hands on your knees and circle the knees. So you are making circular movements with your thigh bones in your hip sockets, switch direction three to four more times. And then bring it to center and three rock and rolls, forward and back. And third one, crossing at your ankles. You can sweep the feet around or roll over your ankles. Make your way onto your hands and knees. A couple rounds of different variation of cat cows. So as you lower, melt the heart in between your shoulder blades and extend the spine, let the head drop. And as you round into cat, lift the head slightly upwards, looking slightly forwards. And melt the heart, melt the spine, drop your head, and round the spine, lift your head. Two more times, own breath, melt. Melting the spine downwards, dropping the head, and rounding, and lifting your head. And now feel free to move in any way that feels more like you. You could do a couple body circles, whatever movement helps you move through that stagnation, through that stuckness. And center, and let's do a little prepping for the wrist. Walk your knees and hands closer together, spin your fingertips out to the side or spin your fingertips towards your knees. Circle the hips around three times each direction as the hips lean back, the heels of the hands can lift a little bit. And three more times, the other way. Relax your shoulders from your ears. Bring it to center, fingertips forward, back of the hands now. So fingertips are facing your knees, shoulders from your ears, and make fist. And open and close. Or another four, shoulders from ears, soften your eyeballs, two. And one, slowly releasing, peel your hands away, circle your wrists a couple times each direction, shake it out, and we'll make our way onto hands and knees, preparing for down dog. Walk your wrists slightly in front of your shoulders, spread your fingers wide, curl your toes under, reaching the hips back and up, and pedal it out. Walk your hands towards the back of the mat. Bend your knees a lot, belly to thighs. So I'm letting go here with the support of belly to your thighs. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Stay here, flip your palms up. Unload your spine, release your head. As you let go of anything 
It does not serve you positively. It may have at one time, you could think it, whatever it is, and then allow it to be given to the earth, letting it go. Allow your thoughts to drift down to the ground as you come into this moment. And slowly releasing, you can flip the palms down, press down through the feet, belly flies in and up as you make your way on up to standing. Three shoulder circles at the top. And we'll make our way to the top of the mat or the center of the mat, finding somewhere to place and ground your feet. And we're going to use a block and place it into your upper inner thighs. So this will help us maintain a connection to our midline and also that gentle hugging in activates the inner thigh muscles, the adductors, which helps light up the pelvic floor and our core and our sense of center. So we're connecting the sense of groundedness with our sense of center. And arms to the sides. And we're gonna go for a little walk here <laughs> without our feet moving, but focusing on the resiliency and the fluidity of the upper body. So hugging that block in, begin to swing the arms forward and back and bending the knees in between. Okay, get a little bouncy here. Also approaching this practice with a sense of playfulness and curiosity. It's a great way to move through any areas of stickiness and stuckness. And allow the arms to swing a little bit more. You may notice that the ribs and the chest want to turn side to side, and that's okay. And then let's meet at the top until the arms come in line with each other here. And then follow through with that. So one arm goes back and the other arm goes forward. Yeah, and you can allow it to be slower, like you're moving through molasses or honey, or a little bit more ballistic, if that's fair and friendly for your shoulders, and reverse. Make sure you maintain that sense of springiness, pressing down through the ground to rise up for four, three, two and one slowing it down let the arms swing to stillness good keep rooting down squeezing the block rise up interlace your hands and release your index fingers and your thumbs so you're going to make a index fingers and thumbs to china jar so squeeze the block and circle around like you're scraping out the last of the well, tahina here in Jerusalem. Might give you peanut butter also. From the jar and switch directions. So you're doing about five times each direction. And we'll meet center. Lean on over to your right side. And 10 little bounces at end range. For four, three, two, and one. Come back on up. And to the left, pulse it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on up and release your arms to the sides. A couple of times, squeezing the block, lifting the heels, lifting the arms, and lowering down. Bring weight into the heels, lift the toes, engage the front body. Wake up the back body, lifting the heels. Wake up the front body, forward and back. Three more times. Hugging into midline. And we'll meet with the heels down. Take a moment here. You can have your arms at your sides or to your heart. Noticing any shifts or changes. And again, bringing awareness to the feet and your sense of center as you think of one thing in your life that you 
stand for or you would like to take a stand for. Not only on the mat, but off the mat. And then maintaining that sense of taking a stand. You can incorporate a mountain pose throughout the movement. Releasing your arms at your side. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist here, lifting up the heels and twisting arms in opposite directions to the right and to the left. So throughout that sense of groundedness in your feet, there is a sense of mobility and adaptability. All right, so in our efforts, in our intentions to take a stand or to move from a place of center, there needs to be an element of adaptability, right? Rather than rigidity. Do that two more times, each direction. So there's fluidity within and together with groundedness. Come back to center, take a moment to notice, and we'll do some squatting <laughs> with similar elements. So first, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, sweep your arms to the side, flip your palms back, bend your elbows, and rest the back of your hands onto your back body. And then press down through the heels, still hugging into midline. Lift up and reach your arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back and come into your squat. Rolling the shoulder blades onto the back and inhale, come up. Rhythm of your own breath, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale. And one more, inhale. And exhale, stay here, we'll keep with that and lift your heels. All right, you could stay there or you could keep the heels down, Whoop, little dance. And then lower the heels down and inhale, lift up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels and inhale, lift up. A couple more times like that, rhythm of your own breath. Lifting the heels, lower the heels, rest down, lift up. Let's do four more like that. Rhythm of your own breath. Pressing evenly as you can through the big toe side and the pinky toe side. And we'll meet in the squat, keep the heels lifted. Breathing here, one soft point of focus. Squeeze in the block for three. Sense of center and self, two. And one, lower the heels down and rise up and release your arms. Release the block to the side, we'll use it again. And step to the front of the mat. Actually, let's step in the middle, middle of the mat here, so the long side of the mat. And maintaining that sense of center and groundedness, we'll begin to swing the arms forward and back. And springiness again, you might notice, a little bit different after the block, you may feel lighter. And now you could bring the feet a little bit wider and twist. And let the opposite heel lift up as you turn. So the hips will also turn. And you could allow the hands to tap the back of your waist, your kidneys here. So the arms will be lower. And now swing it higher so you're tapping more the upper back. Yeah, just allow any unnecessary tension, especially from your neck and shoulders to 
be sweeped to get unstuck, right? Out through your fingertips. And you can alternate higher and lower for another three, two, and one. Now, spirals. Spiral it out. Reaching to opposite directions of the room for four, three, two, and one. And now we go side to side. The arms be heavy, yet fluid through the movement, reaching and lifting opposite leg. I find this one very grounding and calming. This is one of my go-tos when I feel stuck or stagnant. Another four, three, two, and one, finding center. Woo, all right, now we'll stand, walk to the top of the mat for some half sun A's. So finding your feet about inner hip width distance apart. And then root down, rise up, extended mountain pose. And as you exhale, hands to your heart and fold forward. Coming into a halfway lift. And as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog. Let's take a rolling wave. Lift your heels, drop your tailbone, roll through the spine, shoulders over the wrists. As shoulders come over the wrists, press the heels back and open up into a downward dog variation. Same way you came in, drop the chin, rounding the spine. So cobra hood at the top and heels heavy towards the ground. And then lift your heels, bend your knees, and step your right foot forward, and spin your back foot flat into warrior two. It's about heel to arch alignment. And finding your gaze past the middle finger of the front hand. Find your power in the path, find your feet again, as the inner body is supported and buoyant with the breath. This could be a nice pose to explore boundaries. So feel if this feels, feel if this is familiar to you or if it's something you long for. Think of one area in your life that you can bring in boundaries, explore boundaries. And slowly straightening out the front leg and take your hands by your side, hands to your hips, and bring your heels in, toes out. Bring your hands to your heart. Again, finding your feet, lifting your hands or your heart into your hands and expand outward into being seen. Notice if this feels familiar to you. And then take your hands to your heart again and bend your knees, coming into a horse-like stance and pressing evenly through the four corners of your feet, staying here, and we'll explore a couple sensing or a couple of variations of support here. So sensing which one feels more familiar to you, let's first dance with the arms out to the side, palms down, and lower your arms and press the palms down. It's a little bit more earthy sense of support. And flip the palms up, bend the elbows, and reach the heels, the hands to be about the height of your head, maybe a little bit higher. And then alternate between the two about three more times. Deep breathing, whatever you like. And then stay and breathe into the one that feels most familiar to you. Stay there. As you feel the shape of support, noticing if it's something that you long for, if it's familiar to you. Another three, two, one. Take your hands to your heart and lift your heels and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one, heels down, expand outward to be seen, and then interlace your hands behind your head, elbows wide, and let's bring some more circular energy. Bending your right knee, circle down towards the right foot through center, bend the left knee, and press through the back of the head, belly and ribs, soften inward to come up to standing. Allow that to be more fluid. Two more times in this direction. And from that place of groundedness, switch directions. So maintaining your sense of earthiness and center throughout the movement as life swirls around you. Right, this sense of adaptability as opposed to rigidity. And then release your arms. Make your way into warrior two pose again and flip your right palm up, reverse warrior, tilt back and exhale, float your hands down to the ground. Step it back into downward facing dog or take that rolling wave in between. A rinse cycle. And we'll meet downward facing dog. Six directions. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and step your left foot forward. Spin the back foot flat, rise up into warrior two. Right, exploring your sense of boundaries here from the feet all the way up to the core of the pelvis. The inner body is buoyant and supported by the breath. Where in your life can you introduce boundaries? Meaningful boundaries in which to expand. For another three, two, and one, straighten out the front leg, hands to your hips, and again, heels in and toes out, and finding horse pose or support pose here. And a couple bounces here, so you're really yielding into the earth. And then bring your arms out to the sides, a little side to side movement to wake up the side body and our sense of self-worth, self-value. So bending your right elbow and reach the left arm overhead and then back on up to center. And switch. And center. Three more times. Each direction. Pressing down through the four corners of your feet. And one more. And bring it to center, hands to the heart, and lift your heels and breathe here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heels on the ground, standing tall, and expand outward. Right? Being seen, taking up space. Think about somewhere in your life where you would like to take up some more space. Then bring your arms out to the sides, toe heel your feet closer in. So a shorter stance with your feet parallel. Bending your right knee and place your left hand on top of your right foot, left fingertips facing towards the right. Left shoulder over, left wrist. Press to the outer edge of the back foot and spin your chest to the sky for three, two, and one, standing tall, arms out to the side. And now bending your left knee, right hand on top of left foot, fingertips towards the left, and right shoulder over right wrist. Press to the outer edge of the right foot and spin your chest to the sky. For another three, two, and one, standing tall. And warrior two to the original front of the mat. Reverse warrior tilting back and exhale, hands down to the ground and step it back into down dog. 
rolling wave if you want. Chin rounding through the spine and downward facing dog, pedaling it out. And walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat and roll it on up. One vertebrae at a time. Okay. So we're going to take a step forward with the right foot into a shorter warrior one like stance. So stepping the right foot forward, and let's take a wider stance than you normally would. Right. Finding our warrior stance so the feet could be as wide as the mat. And sweep the arms up, inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to make like fists. Draw the elbows inward and lift your right heel. Inhale, straighten both legs. The right heel is down, exhale. Inhale, and you could go. <sighs> Inhale, or through pursed lips. Whatever variation helps bring you a sense of groundedness and centeredness. Let's do eight more. And let's keep it here with the heel lifted. I'm breathing here for three, two, one, lower the right heel down. You're gonna stay here and we're gonna find our no pose. So flipping the right palm forward and in front of your heart, fingers together. And think of somewhere in your life where you could use some no. <laughs> like what's your no to serve your greater yes? Breathe in here for three, two, and one, slowly releasing hands to the hips. And do a little rocking horse here. Rocking horse. Yeah, I keep doing that. We'll fix something here. Coming back. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. <laughs> And then Holly, you're in your rocking horse here. So we did like a little bit of rocking forward and back. You're gonna bend through the right knee, come onto the ball of the back foot and keep that right knee bent. You're gonna tap your left foot forward and then back, forward and back. Keeping that right knee bent, woo. For another six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Six more like that, pressing to the right heel, or keep the left foot hovering over the ground. Another three, two, and one. Let's make our way into a warrior three variation. Keep both knees bent. Let's call this curiosity. Moving around, think of something that you would like to be curious of, allow it to be playful, right? Thinking of somewhere in your life that you can use a little bit more playfulness for three, two, and one, standing tall and release, shake it out, and let's bring it to the back of the mat. And let's do that again on the other side. So stepping left foot forward like a shorter warrior one stance. So widen your feet here. And again, we're gonna take that, that warrior pose of reaching the arms up. And as you exhale, up. And then add the lifting of the heel and straighten the legs at the top. About six more. Shh. 
One more and hold it here. Keep breathing, keep that left heel lifted if you can. One soft point of focus, make sure you're maintaining a soft face practice, even during the strengthening for three, two, one. Left heel down, finding your no pose. So elbow is bent, left elbow is bent, hand in front of your heart. Hmm, what's the no? What's your no that serves the greater yes? Is saying no something that's familiar to you? What's your no? Let it be expressed through your eyes as well. Another three, two, and one. Slowly releasing hands to hips. And we'll do a little bit of rocking here, forward and back, a rocking horse. And again, this is another way that we bring a sense of adaptability and resiliency and buoyancy from the ground up. So through that sense of groundedness, we're pressing the earth away. Right, we're playing with that ground reaction force, our sense of an ability to bounce back. Another three, two, and one. Left foot down, bending the knee, and tapping the right foot behind you. And bringing the energy of the knee down into your left heel, tap the right foot forward and then back. Forward and back. Hands could be wherever you like. They could be to your heart. You could keep them to your hips for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Six more times, either tapping on the ground or foot in the air. Three, two, and one. You can tap the right foot behind you or keep it in the air. Keeping both knees bent, variation of warrior three. Playfulness, curiosity, like a jester. Right. Again, where in your life can you invite in more a sense of playfulness? And then slowly make your way on up to standing and shake it out. Let's meet at the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. And root down, rise up. And exhale, arms by your side. Let's be like penguins here. <laughs> Palms facing down and shake your shoulders. Bounce your legs. Make sure we're not taking ourselves too seriously. And then free your hands and bounce around. It's a little rinse cycle here. All right, do whatever movements you need to help move through those areas of stickiness. Allow the bouncing to help you shake off. Shake it off, whatever it is you need to shake it off. For three, two, and one. Okay, finding your sense of center and groundedness again. Sweeping your arms up, inhale, and as you exhale, hands to your heart, hinging at your hips as you bend your knees and fold forward. Coming into a halfway lift, and exhale, hands on the ground, step back into downward facing dog, rolling wave, lift your heels, roll through the spine, and then chuck the chin, downward facing dog, into hands and knees. Child's pose. Whatever variation you like, surrendering. You can flip your palms up. Hmm. Feeling what it feels like to surrender. Surrendering to the ground, surrendering to your breath. And slowly make your way onto your hands and your knees. And make your way onto your back. And grab onto your block again. And we'll explore some similar movements we did to start, but using the block for feel back and feedback of our sense of center, midline, and self. So we'll lie down with the block. 
in between the upper inner thighs. Finding, again, allow yourself to settle into your body as you reorientate yourself into space. And then arms at your sides. And you can keep your arms at your sides or you can interlace your hands behind your head, elbows wide. And on your exhale, either arms at your sides or elbows curl inward, lift and curl your head up and extend your right leg forward. Lower the right foot down and the left leg forward. Lower the left foot down, elbows close together, and lower down, elbows wide. Inhale, exhale, curling up. Keep on breathing, one leg at a time or both legs. Lower down, all the way down. Elbows wide, exhale, curl up. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, slowly releasing, and lower all the way down. Do that five more times. Rhythm of your own breath, either lifting one foot at a time or both. Four to five more times. Again, you can explore arms to the sides, reaching and extending, squeezing the block, and lowering down. Up. Make sure the belly and ribs soften down. You can always, again, take your hands behind your head for support. And you're hinging and softening the base of the ribs to the ground throughout the movement. And after your last round, Slowly releasing and let, but first remove the block and let your knees rest in towards each other. Block to the side, hands could be the heart or one to your heart, one to your lower belly. And allow your breath to settle. Let's take that block. And I'll show you, you can roll to one side to set up for neck release. Setting the block at the medium height and the edge is closest to your pelvis. Will be the one that is at that edge to the base of your skull. Let your knees rest in towards each other. Might take a little bit to find the sweet spot. And rock your head side to side. And if you find a sweet spot somewhere on the right side, hang out and breathe there. And rock it side to side until you find a sweet spot on the left side. Breathe and hang out there. And rock side to side. And slowly releasing, bring it to center. Take the block out from underneath. Feet together, knees in towards your chest. Taking your favorite supine twist. So I'm gonna bring my arms straight out to the side. Lower your knees to the left. Head to be center or head to be turning to the right. And again, like in the beginning of class, allow the ground to rise up and meet you where you are. As you accept the internal support of your breath. And center, switch inside the other way. Softening the jaw. Softening the base of the ribs. And softening your hip creases. 
and bring it to center. And feel free to take any other shape or movement that helps round out your practice. It could be a happy baby pose. Side to side if you want to rock. Supine pigeon, pigeon. And let's meet in either resting pose, again with the knees bent. You can interlace your hands behind your head or whatever variation of resting pose you would like. Reflecting on any insights you may have gained about yourself, about your practice. And taking a moment to reflect on anywhere in your life where you can use a little bit more rest, restfulness. Allow the contents of your brain to settle. As you soften from the inside out, let the bones of your face be heavy to the back of your skull. You are supported in whatever process you are going through right here, right now. Allow the earth to support you and allow your breath to breathe you. And stay here as long as you need. Or you can slowly begin to deepen your breath as you bring movement back to your fingers and your toes. And gently turning your head side to side. And with awareness, bending your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug of gratitude for investing this time on your mat. It is a radical act of self-care. Rolling to one side, make your way on up to a comfortable seated position. Eyes could be closed. Overlap your hands on top of your heart. The eyes could also have a soft gaze. And gentle pressure of your hands on your heart, lift your heart up into your hands. And think of one thing in your life that you are grateful for, no matter how big or small. And we'll end together with one cleansing breath. First, empty out all the air from your lungs. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And exhale, keep the heart lifted. And as always, gratitude for practicing together today. May it all be of benefit to us and everybody else around us. Namaste. Thank you for joining. And hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.